Alright guys, so I just wanted to make a quick video on uh, For Honor and I know there's um, a high debate going on right now with crossplay being uh, sharing both PC players and console players together. Now this brings up a new debate on which is better, keyboard and mouse or controller. Now most people in this game play controller, I even did. I played a uh, controller on Xbox, and uh, I, I would say there's nothing wrong with using either output, or input should I say, but uh, they, all, they both have their own benefits. For example, um, like a controller joystick is just, I think, a lot better in some circumstances for the guarding. Because on keyboard and mouse, your guard is a bit mad. Like, I'm barely even moving my mouse. And my guard's, like, really mad. So, yeah, that's, like, one of the main things. And also, um, target, target switching can be a bit, like, weird. I can't really show it here because there's only one guy. But on keyboard and mouse, you have to use toggle. Well, you don't have to, but it's preferred that you use toggle on the guard. So you can do other actions. But you know, that's one of the downsides of uh, keeping a mouse. Um, but there are benefits, like using your left and right click as like your heavy attacks, obviously your parry button as well. And the travel distance on, the travel distance on your right click is like nothing. So you can parry like you can parry a lot easier. That's the, like one of the first things I noticed when I came to keyboard and mouse. Um, and also, a lot of mechanics, like, I know a lot of people like to do these like weird tech uh, tricks, like spinning around when like smacking someone or something. I can't really do it, but you know, you know what I mean. Like, Nobishi used to do it all the time. Like, everyone played Nobishi and did his own attack like backwards and then came this way. That, it's a lot easier to unlock on keyboard and mouse, I think. Because you can use your running key, uh, which is shift for me, to like exit your guard mode, like that. So it can be good. And also another really great aspect to keyboard the mouse is binds. You can mess about with your binds a ton. Because I sure have. Um, my main, my main goal for my binds was to to make it so I don't need to. Let go of my movement binds. Well, actually, no, that's a lie. I do need to let go of my movement binds to do some actions, but my goal is to be able to be able to faint while doing guard breaks at the same time, um, which I can do, and lock on at the same time. That's like the main thing you need to keep in mind when binding stuff. Now, I showcase my binds. My binds. So I've kept these movement binds default. My walk is on uh, the scroll wheel because uh, I've got other binds utilizing which uh, key that was on, which was X. I've got roll. Now this is very important. Um, this is like one of the major binds. The reason you do not want roll slash dodge on your spacebar is because spacebar has a very long like, time to push. Like, you'll notice instantly trying to dodge a bash from, like, Conquer or something. Like, using your mouse button at the side is a lot easier. Like, a lot easier. Well, it's not easier, um, per se. It just makes your reaction times a lot better at dodging. And I just kept them all the same because they're all that sort of button. And now guard mode, I don't ever use this key. Like, I never use it. I used to cycle target key all the time. Because, um, it's more like controller. Because controller only has, like, one lock on. And that's your, uh, LT or, uh, what's it? L2. Um, yeah, I honestly, like, if I was trying to get used to keeping a mouse, as anyone knew, like, don't, don't use this bind. Um, I think the default's control. 
Yeah, I've got I've got the uh, all block head and stance bind on control, so you can uh, fiddle a bit with that if you want. Um, light and heavy tag I've kept the same. I have double binded F to both of these, so zone attack. I don't need to press left click and right click at the same time to zone attack. I just press F and it inputs. You need to uh, delay your. You need to delay like input and zone attack after an attack or else you'll like do a random heavy or a light attack to keep that in mind. But I'm sure you already know that. Uh, full block stance I've got on left control as I've said before. You'll want to um... You'll want to mess up with that. I had that on mouse button 5. I don't really like holding my mouse buttons. And you kind of need to hold for a full block stance. So I use left control. That's an easy access bind for me. And um... Works really good. Especially if people who spam all block like Kyoshin or JJ or uh, Nobishi. Guard break, this is the second most important bind. I've got guard break on spacebar. This is a really good bind because you can still cancel your attacks while guard breaking, which is very important. You want to be able to cancel your attacks while guard breaking and move at the same time. That's what you want to keep in mind. So that's a really good bind. I have got uh, R is execute one and I got execute two is E. That's default. I changed R. This is also important. For the important bind. You want to change this because in team fights, when you hit someone with a heavy right before they die, they go into the state where you can execute them. And you need to be able to quickly exit the execution without executing them, right? And the way I do that usually is I target swap onto the other guy and it puts me off the guy I'm executing. Now that default bind is Q. So it will just execute them rather than target swap. So that's why I changed that to R. Feats I've kept the same. They're not hard for me to use. Um, I know a lot of people find it difficult using numbers on keyboard, but you can get used to it. I have. I use my... um, Use my... uh. Ring finger to hit two, and then uh, index to hit three and four. Also, uh, ring finger on one. Don't forget that. R is revenge. Really simple, easy to use. No conflicts. And um, what else have we got here? I've put G as interactive scoreboard. That's just like a general use thing. You don't need to do that. I've just done that so I can like quick uh, quickly tell how much time I've spent in a game because I like to know that information. And then um, spectating stuff, I've kept the same. Now, interactive interaction and communication. I've put emote 1 is C, emote 2 is V, because they're not getting used by anything. Well, V was getting used by push to talk, but I'm pretty sure push to talk doesn't even work in this game. This is a bind that you... I've got 60% keyboard, right? The default... Bind for quick chat on keyboard and mouse is the is it tilde key I think one next to one, and my, I don't have that key on my keyboard because it's a sixty percent. I have escape there, so I've just rebinded that to caps lock because nothing uses caps lock, so it's easy to use quick chat. I've kept um kept all the selections the same, uh text text like things are all the same, and then. That should be it. I've just unbinded Push to Talk because I'm pretty sure Ubisoft <laughs> Ubisoft disabled it because people are so toxic in this game. Um, that's also another thing I'd recommend. So that's all my settings. Um, you just click ignore here. It's saying the double binded F is a conflict but it still works and there's no conflicts. So that's all my key binds. Now, general controls, I keep the camera sensitivity at 5, it's fine for me, I play 800 dpi, it's not too fast. Guard mode, mouse out, uh, input, you want to keep that on. Uh, what else? You want a lock toggle keyboard on, so that makes your guard mode t toggle. If it's not on, then you'll need to hold your lock on key, and that's not good. Uh, this is a very important one. Exit guard mode rule. Keep it to never because 
see if you have any of the other ones. It puts you out of lock on, and when you're not locked on, anyone who hits you gets free heavy attacks on you, and you can't block it or parry it. So you want to keep this to never. And the way to deal with someone attacking you while you got an execution uh indicator is you just target swap to them and hit them. Cycle enable cycle targeting system. You want to keep this off. I think it's on by default. Um reason you want to keep it off is because it makes it so you'll lock onto the people closest to you, like the first two, I'm pretty sure. Um, and that's better than the R system that locks on to every single person around you. Um, because then you can't get to the person that's right next to you, so you want to keep that. Do not mess with this, this will disable your keyboard and mouse. Um, unless you're using controller, obviously, but why would you be watching this if you're wanting to know keyboard and mouse settings, right? Uh, that should be, oh, wait, no, 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 we got the flight, f not flight, fight controls. So this is a sensitivity bar basically. It determines how sensitive your um, guard switch is. Uh, I've kept all these settings the same except from the guard mode sensitivity. Guard mode sensitivity I think is 10 by default. It's really fast I think on the default. So I just put it down a little bit. You tweak this to your preference but take my settings and mess about with it I would say. And uh, that should be all it. And this works really well. I know um, a lot of people who go to Corona PC want to know like, is keeping the mouse worth it? And yeah, it, there is no like, like, it's not like terrible. It's like preference to be honest. But um, I know a lot of the top pros play on a keyboard and mouse in For Honor. Like Barak Yeet, he's one of the pros I know that plays keyboard and mouse. Um, Clutchmeister, he plays keyboard and mouse. Just like, a lot of people play keyboard and mouse, right? Um, reasons for... You got the... The left click and right click, easy access. You got the mouse button to dodge. So it's like really responsive, basically. That's the main reason people like to play Keeping the Mouse on For Honor, is it's responsive. It does not have terrible controls. Like, this game has definitely got great keyboard integration. So do not think it's like Elden Ring, where they have no idea how to make keyboard and mouse controls. So yeah, that's my video, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you take something away from this. And uh, get your keyboard and mouse set up for For Honor. See ya.